Okay, good day everyone. So for today, we will talk about Rule 2 Responsibility. Nothing in this rule shall exonerate any vessel or the owner, masters, or crew thereof from the consequences of any neglect to comply with these rules or of neglect of any precaution which may be required by the ordinary practice of seamen or by the special circumstances of the case. So, um, no one shall exonerate the owners, the masters, or the crews are responsible for any consequences. So if they are not complying with these rules or uh, applying or following these rules, like for example the precautions, the ordinary practices or actions to avoid collision, there are consequences for both vessels. For example, if they were collided or these two vessels collided, so basically may pananagutan silang dalawa because both of them have res responsibilities and actions to avoid collision and it doesn't mean na the other vessel's fault is not their fault no even you are the stand-on vessel and the other vessel is giveaway vessel hindi ibig sabihin na na siya ang bumangga so is wala ka ng pananagutan because there are other rules in collision regulations that you can actually apply to avoid collision okay Pagbabanggain ka, iwasan mo. Do all available means or actions, kumbaga. Okay. Kung may nakabanggaan kayong um, other vessels, for example, or nagbanggaan kayong dalawa, kasalanan yung dalawa. Because rule number two is state, no one shall exonerate. Okay. It is the responsibility of the master and the owners to create an environment of compliance with the rule of the road and it is the responsibility of the navigator at the scene to actually the, uh, to follow the rule of the road. Rule number five, look out. One of the most important rule sa ating cold reg or collision regulation. Rule eight, action to avoid collision and of course, all rules should be followed. Okay, lahat ng rules sa collision regulation ay kailangan um, alam natin and we know how to apply it during voyage. Okay, your responsibility is not only to follow the cold regs. You are also responsible for doing everything necessary or anything necessary to avoid the risk of collision and the dangers of navigation. Rule 2 um, requires you to follow both the rules and the ordinary practices of seamen. Okay, this means that you must always your, uh, use your common sense. Okay, so since we are talking about um, collision kanina, um, in order for us to understand the giveaway and stand on vessel, we will proceed in Rule 15 siguro para mas maintindihan natin kung ano nga ba giveaway and stand on vessel. Okay, so there are different situations here. For example, crossing situation, crossing, um, crossing situation, head-on situation, and overtaking. Okay, giveaway vessel. Giveaway vessel keep out of the way of another vessel and avoid a risk of collision or a close quarter um, situation. So, ibig sabihin, this is a cross crossing situation and this is the giveaway vessel siya yung iiwas dito sa ating isang vessel if you are um giveaway vessel sa right side mo itong right side nito may vessel siya so ikaw yung iiwas dito sa stand on vessel while this stand on vessel must maintain its course and its speed so ibig sabihin i-maintain niya lang course niya diretso lang yan and yung speed niya hindi niya na kailangang baguhin but if the situation is the giveaway vessel is not following or hindi siya alert babangga talaga siya sa'yo wala siyang other option eh, you are stand on vessel you must do something all appropriate uh, appropriate or appropriate means na pwede mong gawin or actions na kaya mong gawin to avoid the collision that's why in rule 2 sinabi doon na no one shall exonerate so, both of you have consequences. While for overtaking naman, dito above is 22.5. So, if you are dito na, ano, dito na area, 22.5 above ng itong vessel na to, it means you are overtaking vessel. Okay. Overtaking vessel ka na. Yun yung uh, 
expect nitong vessel na to na mag-overtake ka sa kanya. Okay, so okay, I will show you the the correct uh correct uh, actions for crossing situation. Okay, so this is um crossing situation and ano nga ba yung actions na gagawin niya itong uh, um giveaway vessel. Okay, ang gagawin niya if they will cross, pupunta siya ng likod ng stand on vessel. This is the appropriate actions for crossing situations. Then this another scenario. Same, pupunta siya sa likod ng other vessels. Just like this, giveaway vessel during crossing situation and stand on vessel. Okay, giveaway vessel kapag may vessel ka sa right side mo. Stand on vessel kapag sa port side or left side mo may vessel. Okay, this will be the end of our lesson for um, rule number two. Thank you for listening.